In this video, I will show you how to make bad textures look amazing. That will take your renders from looking like this. Huh? To this. Wow! Video amazing! A lot of artists use models existing online, and a lot of the time they come with low-resolution textures which aren't the best or ideal for good results. For example, this Blue Beetle model comes with textures that look like this. Not that great, but what if I told you that you could take the same textures that came with this model and make them look infinitely better by just adjusting the lighting, the texture node setup, and perhaps adding an HDRI map? Firstly, import your model into Blender, then add an area light. Position it so in front of the model so that the light is coming at an angle. Next, duplicate the area light, position it behind the model at an angle. Then, duplicate it again and position it opposite to the previous area light. Position these lights accordingly, but this is a basic three light setup which generally makes renders look good. Now your render has gone from this to this. Open the shader editor, create a new material, add an image texture, import your model's texture into the image texture, add all the maps that came with your model and connect them to the main shader. In my case, I only had a base color map and a normal map. After this is done, the next step is the secret sauce. One way to add extra detail onto the textures is to use the existing base color map as a bump map. Add a bump node between the normal map and the shader and connect the base color texture to the height channel. You will see some extra detail, but since the base color map does not have high resolution, it does not look that great. This is where we will add an extra high resolution image texture to add more detail to the render. I'm using this 4K grunge texture map I got from Fab Marketplace. Import it as an image texture and connect it to the roughness channel in the shader. Using the Node Wrangler add-on, add a mapping nodes so you can adjust the grunge texture. Then, add a color ramp to control the intensity of the grunge texture. White will give you a matte look, and black gives you a wet look. Now, connect the base color with the color ramp of the grunge with a mix color node, then connect the mix color node to the height channel of the bump node. What this does, it, it mixes the color data from the grunge texture with the base color texture giving us extra high-resolution details we can use to drive the bump and the roughness. This technique alone improves the render quality significantly. After this, play around with the metalness and specular values to see what works best with your model and use textures if you have any to add details to your look. I use the same technique I used with the grunge texture to add a honeycomb-like texture into the bump of the chest plate, which makes the render pop more with more detail. I apply all the materials I need to the model and the texturing is done. To add a final touch of extra detail, just add a HDRI map into the world shader. Any HDRI map of your choice you can find many online for free. Import it and adjust the strength and you'll see additional details in the reflections. After all this is done, make any adjustments needed and render your image. See how we went from this a very low res render with bad details to a render that looks way better with added details. If you liked this video, please do like and subscribe. You can watch my previous video where I create a poster for Venom The Last Dance. That's all for now.